Let's talk about reducing your electricity bill, specifically these three points that must be known. 1. How to save up to $100 a year just by turning off your appliances. 2. The secret to cutting your energy usage in half without sacrificing comfort. 3. How to get a free energy audit and potentially save hundreds more on your bill. Listen up folks. If you're tired of shelling out big bucks for your electricity bill every month, then you need to hear what I have to say. As an efficiency expert, I've seen firsthand how much money people waste on their energy usage. But fear not my friends, because with these three simple points, you can start saving big time. No need for fancy gadgets or expensive upgrades. Just a few small changes to your habits can lead to significant financial benefits. So, if you're ready to take control of your electricity bill and stop throwing your hard-earned cash out the window, then keep listening. Trust me, your wallet will thank you. Welcome folks! It's your efficiency expert, Kay Waterloo, here to share with you some foolproof tips for reducing your electricity bill. Today, we're going to focus on one of the most common and costly mistakes that many of you are making, leaving the lights on in empty rooms. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, oh, it's just a little light. It can't make that big of a difference. But let me tell you, every watt counts when it comes to your energy bill. And if you're not careful, those little lights can add up to some serious dough. So, here's the deal, from now on, you're going to be a responsible and smart consumer. You're going to turn off the lights when you leave a room, and you're going to start seeing some serious savings on your electricity bill. Let me break it down for you. If you have 10 light bulbs in your home, and each one is a 60 watt bulb, leaving them on for just 4 hours a day when you're not even in the room can cost you over $100 a year. That's like throwing money out the window. And let's be real, we could all use an extra 100 bucks in our pockets. But the financial benefits of turning off lights go beyond just saving a few bucks. By reducing your electricity usage, you'll also be doing your part to combat rising energy costs. And who doesn't want to save some money? Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but K Waterloo, I always forget to turn off the lights when I leave a room. Well, guess what? There's an easy fix for that. Motion sensors. Installing motion sensors in your home can help you save even more money by ensuring that your lights are only on when they need to be. Plus, it's a great way to add some high-tech pizzazz to your home. And let's not forget about the environmental impact of your careless behavior. By turning off lights in unoccupied rooms, you're helping to reduce energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions. That's right folks, you can save money and help save the planet at the same time. So, in conclusion, turning off lights in empty rooms is one of the simplest and most effective ways to reduce your electricity bill. It's a small change that can add up to big savings over time, while also contributing to a more sustainable future for all. And if you need a little motivation, just think about all the other things you could be doing with the money you're saving. Maybe you could finally take that dream vacation, or invest in some new home decor. The possibilities are endless. But here's the catch, you have to actually do it. So, go ahead, start turning off those lights, and watch the savings pile up. Your wallet and the planet will thank you. And if you need any more tips and tricks for saving money and energy, you know who to call, your favorite efficiency expert. Hello there, I want to take a moment to express my sincere gratitude to all of you who have supported me on my journey to reduce electricity bills without sacrificing the quality of our lifestyles. Your support means everything to me, and I cannot thank you enough. But the journey is far from over, and I am calling on all of you to subscribe, activate notifications, like, and share my content to continue our pursuit of new and innovative ways to save on electricity bills. Together, we can make a difference in our wallets and the environment. So, let's embark on this exciting journey together. I want to hear your opinions and ideas for future content, and I promise to give you exclusive sneak peeks and behind-the-scenes access to the creative process. Tell me what upcoming topics you want to know about, and I will do my best to deliver. But, let's remember the importance of positive collaboration. I urge you to focus on constructive criticism, and let's work together to make a positive impact on our lives and the world around us. Thank you again for your support, and let's continue to save money and live better. All right. Let's get down to the nitty-gritty of reducing your electricity bill. Turning off lights when you leave a room is just the tip of the iceberg. If you're serious about cutting costs and improving your financial situation, then you need to start taking a more comprehensive approach. First off, let's talk about the big picture. Your electricity bill is made up of a number of different charges, including delivery fees, taxes, and of course, the cost of the energy itself. The more electricity you use, the higher your bill will be, simple as that. So, the question is, how do you use less electricity without sacrificing your comfort and convenience? Well, it starts with understanding where you're using the most energy. One of the biggest culprits when it comes to energy consumption is heating and cooling. 
If you live in an area with extreme temperatures, it's understandable that you need to use your air conditioning or heating system to stay comfortable. But there are ways to reduce your usage without sacrificing your comfort. For example, you can set your thermostat a few degrees lower in the winter and a few degrees higher in the summer. You'll hardly notice the difference, but you'll see the savings on your bill. And when you're not home, turn off the heating or cooling entirely. There's no sense in paying to heat or cool an empty house. Another way to reduce your energy usage is to switch to energy-efficient appliances. When you're shopping for new appliances, look for those with an Energy Star rating. These appliances have been certified to use less energy than their less efficient counterparts, which can add up to big savings over time. And don't forget about your lighting choices. LED light bulbs use far less energy than traditional incandescent bulbs, and they last longer too. Plus, they're available in a variety of colors and styles, so you don't have to sacrifice style for savings. Now, I know what you're thinking, all of these changes sound expensive. But the truth is, they don't have to be. In fact, many energy-saving upgrades are eligible for rebates and incentives from your local utility company or the government. And even if you do have to spend a little money up front, the long-term savings will more than make up for it. But here's the thing, you can't just make these changes and then forget about them. You have to actively monitor your energy usage and make adjustments as needed. That means keeping an eye on your thermostat settings, replacing old appliances with energy-efficient models, and making sure you're turning off lights and other electronics when you're not using them. It might seem like a lot of work, but trust me, the payoff is worth it. By taking a proactive approach to reducing your electricity bill, you'll not only save money, but you'll also be doing your part to help the planet. And who doesn't want to feel good about that? So, to sum it up, reducing your electricity bill is all about making small changes that add up to big savings over time. By being more mindful of your energy usage and making smart choices when it comes to appliances and lighting, you can see a significant reduction in your monthly bill. And if you need a little motivation, just think about all the things you could be doing with the money you're saving. Whether it's taking a vacation, paying off debt, or investing in your future. Alright, that's it for now. Stay tuned for the third part of this series, where I'll be sharing some more tips and tricks for reducing your electricity bill and living a more energy-efficient lifestyle. Until then, keep those lights off. Are you tired of seeing high electricity bills every month? Want to learn practical and effective strategies to reduce your energy usage and save money? Look no further than my course. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, my course provides you with all the tips and knowledge you need to reduce your electricity bills. Don't wait any longer. Click on the link in the description to learn more and start saving today. Join me on a mission to create a more sustainable and cost-effective community. By taking my course and applying the strategies you learn, you can make a positive impact on the environment and your wallet. You'll be doing your part to reduce energy consumption and save money while contributing to a better future. And, exciting news, I'm partnering with some great brands in the space of reducing bills. Stay tuned for more information, coming soon in the description link below. Don't miss out on the opportunity to save big and make a positive impact. Enroll in my course today and join me on this journey to a brighter future. Welcome back. My fellow efficiency seekers, this is the third and final section of our tutorial on reducing your electricity bill, and I have saved the best for last. In this section, we will dive deeper into the financial benefits of reducing your energy consumption and provide practical advice on how to make it work in real life. Let's start with the obvious. Reducing your electricity bill means more money in your pocket. And who doesn't love that? But the benefits go beyond just a few extra bucks. By lowering your energy usage, you're also helping to combat rising energy costs. This can have a ripple effect on the economy, leading to lower prices for everyone. So, by making a small change in your energy consumption habits, you're actually contributing to a larger societal benefit. Now, I know what you're thinking, but K Waterloo, I've already turned off all my lights in unoccupied rooms. What else can I do? Well, my friend, there are plenty of other ways to reduce your energy consumption and save money. First, take a look at your appliances. Are they energy efficient? If not, it might be time to upgrade. While it may seem like a big investment up front, energy-efficient appliances can save you a ton of money in the long run. They use less electricity and often come with features like programmable timers that can help you further reduce your energy usage. Next, consider adjusting your thermostat. Even a small change, like turning it down a degree or two in the winter, can lead to significant savings on your heating bill. And in the summer, try using fans instead of your air conditioner. Not only will it save you money, but it can also help reduce your carbon footprint. Another easy way to save money on your electricity bill is to unplug electronics when they're not in use. Did you know that appliances like your TV and computer can still use energy even when they're turned off? It's called, phantom power, and it can add up to a significant amount of wasted energy over time. So, make it a habit to unplug your electronics when you're not using them, or use a power strip to make it even easier. Finally, 
consider investing in renewable energy sources like solar panels. While it may seem like a big investment up front, solar panels can save you a ton of money in the long run. And not only will you be saving money, but you'll also be doing your part to help the environment. So, there you have it. Some practical advice on how to reduce your electricity bill and save money. But remember, it's not just about the financial benefits. By reducing your energy consumption, you're also doing your part to help the planet. And that's something to feel good about. In conclusion, reducing your energy consumption is one of the most effective ways to save money and help the environment. And with a few small changes to your energy consumption habits, you can start seeing significant savings on your electricity bill. So, take action today, and start making a difference. And remember, every little bit counts. Hey there, my fellow money savers, I'm back to wrap things up. Today, we've covered some valuable tips on how to reduce your electricity bills, and I hope you found them helpful. Remember, with my course, you can learn even more strategies, regardless of your skill level. It's all about being part of a community that's passionate about sustainability, cost-effectiveness, and making a positive impact on the environment and our wallets. Speaking of community, I'm excited to announce that I have some fantastic partnerships with brands that share our mission, and we're all in this together. Although I can't reveal their names just yet, check out the description link below for more information. And don't forget to subscribe, activate notifications, like, and share my content to show your support and stay up to date on all the latest tips and strategies. Finally, I want to emphasize that being part of a smart community means always being on the lookout for more money-saving solutions. So, check out my other videos for more valuable tips, and let's continue to work together to create a more sustainable, cost-effective, and efficient world. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.